Welcome back to Switzer on Australia's business channel. David Burton is the founder of an innovative listed company that specialises in fixing sleep disorders and it's recently cracked a nice contract in France. The company is Compumedics and David joins me in the studio. Thanks for joining us, David. Thanks, Peter. Great to be here. Tell us the history of Compumedics. I remember writing a story on you yeah, ages ago when you, were, you weren't a listed company in those days. No, that's right. We actually started in about 1985. Mm -hmm. I headed up a team of uh, engineers and we developed the first computerised sleep centre for the Asia Pacific. Right. It was for a contract for Epworth Hospital. Yeah. And then uh, about 87, we decided we better give that project a name. So it was the convergence of computers and medicine. Yeah. So I called the company Compumedics, and that's when it founded in 87. Yeah. In about uh, 95, we won the largest contract of its kind, the Sleep Heart Health Study, and that broke us into the US market. Yeah. We had innovative ambulatory systems, mm. and we competed against 22 countries, put us in USA. Mm. In 98, that led to the Australia's overall export of the year. Mm. Uh, 2000, we listed on the Australian Stock Exchange, yeah. bought two companies. One was the leader in... 2000 wasn't a great year to list either, that was it? It was a tough year, Peter. Yeah. I remember on the, it was the Dot 20th of December, and it was either we go for it or pull back. Yeah. And in my usual manner, we went for it. <laughs> OK. <laughs> we are the last listed on that year. But we bought two companies with the proceeds, yeah. and that was a great run. We had, between 98 and 2008, we quadrupled our sales from 9 to... 38 million. 2008, we hit the GFC headwinds, mm -hmm. went straight into a transformation, which had three major spears to it. But now we've come out of that and we've hit profits, which is why we're here. Okay, great. Now, uh, explain to people what the, the product actually does. Okay, we have three areas where we specialise in and we're world leading. First, sleep diagnostics. Mm -hmm. Now, there's 84 classified sleep disorders, and they range from the common snoring and apnea to the more obscure mm -hmm. myoclonus, and you've probably seen some of these narcolepsy. Mm -hmm. But we and some people actually just fall asleep when they're sitting on the toilet or something like that. They can be fishing, and yeah. they've actually been recorded falling in the water, and that's actually narcolepsy. Okay, and disorders like that. Uh, neurological. So we provide the equipment for services yeah. and these days it's moving in the home which is interesting. Mm -hmm. So we've migrated our new applications into the cloud yeah. and we're providing mobile links with Android and Apple and that's the new generation of home monitoring. And the okay. other side is neurology. Yeah. One percent of approximately of the population have epilepsy, yeah. about ten percent suffer a seizure. Yeah. So we do the world's best epilepsy and neurology monitoring and sleep diagnostic monitoring yeah. and also brain blood flow, believe it or not. Okay, well, that kind of is related, isn't it? But yeah. look, so y your products don't actually cure sleep apnea. No, the first step... But they monitor yeah, what's right. going yeah, on. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. A, a WHO report has shown that the burden of neurological disorders is, for example, about 6 to 7%, mm. and Asia is the fastest growing region. And that's for neurological disorders, as you're seeing the industrialisation of Asia. And you're right. also seeing the age population increase. Mm. So monitoring for sleep and neurological disorders mm. is what really underpins that, that demand mm -hmm. for that monitoring. Who are your customers? Who are your key customers? Well, we've shipped actually about half a billion dollars worth of systems from Australia. 90% yeah. of our business is export. Yeah. In Australia... The stuff is made here, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And part of the transformation, of course, is our high cost base, high dollar. Yeah. We've had to spend since 2008 and transform that. Mm. And the key message for Compumedics is it has worked mm. and it's brought us back to profits. But that's involved a three-speared plan. Mm. Part of it's shifting manufacture to lower cost regions. Mm. Part of it's transforming to online business. Mm. And the other part is break out businesses with partners, so we're actually doing licenses on our technology. How many rivals do you have around the world? Well, in our slot and our combination, interestingly, in the sleep diagnostics, mm. independent sleep diagnostic companies of our nature, we're the only one. Mm. The others are conglomerates and vast organisations. Mm. We're the only specialist. And we actually founded the business, yeah. so we would be recognised as the world leader in terms of the comprehensive and specialty nature. OK, so uh, are, basically, are there hospitals who are buying your stuff? Yes, well, globally we have about 20,000 hospitals mm. that have our systems. We have systems in Stanford, Albert Einstein Medical Centre by our neurology systems, Mayo, Stanford, mm. Tokyo University, Peking in China. Well, one of the things I'm interested in, I've been doing some work with pharmacists, and a lot of the pharmacists are diversifying by introducing sleep apnea you know, services in the pharmacy. Do they, in a sense, are they potential customers for you? Or, a absolutely. Or yeah, yeah. So it can be small enough for a servicer of people with sleep problems. Yeah, actually, yeah. In the last 
five to ten years there's been a transition to what they call home sleep testing yeah. or home based sleep services right. and a lot of these larger scale pharmaceuticals and others now are providing those services yeah. and we provide the equipment to the best of those organisations. In fact, you'll soon see some announcements coming up where we're providing pharmaceutical opportunities to use mobile phones in the home so everyone can be diagnosed, mm. and we've migrated our technologies into the cloud. So that's a new area, and you're going to see it dissipate, of course, mm. more to the patient in the home. The rise of the customer base. Yes. Um, I, I know I, I did a story on a guy called David Dixon in Gimp, he's a, a pharmacist, and he's actually turned his business around by introducing a sleep apnea business there. Yes. And one of his, one of his key discoveries yes. was that a lot of his customers, patients, had sleeping problems. And, uh, yes. and, and so I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that probably in five years' time there'd be a lot more people identify themselves as having sleep apnea issues. Yes. Well, you've probably tracked this field for a while, but CompuMedics has been, for this, this millennium is more about, a lot about the comorbidities. That is that the majority of people with sleep disordered breathing also have obesity, they have congestive heart failure. Yep. So that's why you're seeing first stroke sufferers, a majority of them also have sleep disorder breathing. That's why you're seeing more dissipation into the larger scale outlets, mm -hmm. such as the pharmaceuticals, who are now taking a role mm -hmm. in screening patients as a service. In fact, CompuMedic's major clients are services of that nature. Okay, so I presume the stuff you sold to hospitals are a much bigger and more expensive unit than the ones you'd be trying to target for, for the smaller operators? Absolutely, and okay. our biggest transition will be First of all, we've founded ourselves in the premier supplier. So we're the premier supplier in China mm. for neurology systems. We're the premier supplier in China for sleep diagnostics. And that's one of our faster growing markets. Mm. Mm. Recently, our major shareholder became a Chinese company who are quite wise because mm. they know developing this market in China is very valuable. OK, tell us about the French contract and how important that might be for the company. Well, Strasbourg University is actually the second largest university in France for us. Mm -hmm. It also has something like 16 Nobel Prize winners. Mm -hmm. Louis Pasteur was actually an academic there. Mm -hmm. So it's a phenomenal showcase for us mm -hmm. to enter that market, and we've only just started that market. So we were delighted. Mm -hmm. A million dollar deal in all. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is we're bringing sleep and EEG with some of the best researchers in the world mm -hmm. in Strasbourg University. And that's going to be the showcase for us to get the knock-on effect in France. And France is one of the major diagnostic companies. So we're balancing the growth in China with the baseline in USA mm -hmm. and countries in Europe like France. Mm -hmm. And that's how the company is going to sustain its profitability in the future. Okay, so what are the other opportunities for the company going forward? Well, the big one is we have the premier position, the major supplier in sleep and urology in China. So you see a contract recently, $2 million for just in China, and we're only at the beginning of that curve. Mm. That's a big one for us. So China, we're positioned with the Asia Pacific to be the only multi-discipline diagnostic company mm. that's in the Asia Pacific. All the other players are either in Europe or USA. So we're really focusing on growing that market, mm. and particularly with the China as a growth engine. Okay. The second one is the transition into the home market. 75% of the world's population have one form of sleep disorder or another. For example, 30 to 40% insomniacs. Mm. And then you've got one in five people with sleep disordered breathing. Yeah. That's 5.5 billion people in the world suffering sleep disorders. Mm. Now, all of those in the future will have an opportunity to be diagnosed in the home, not with gadgets or health tracking. That's why we've transferred our technology into the cloud mm. and brought it to the mobile monitoring. So how will it work? You'll go home, yeah. you'll press a button, and you'll be going into a high band cloud mm. with your telecommunications and there will be doctors... So you're using your mobile phone to, to, to monitor how you might be sleeping and then the feedback will be coming through. Absolutely. And because of the efficiencies of it, of course, it's accessible to more people, but we bring in the specialists and the clinicians as part of the equation because that's our field. Yeah. So that's a total transition towards efficiency in sleep. Mm. As we speak now, we have a number of contracts in play and we've set up a whole business unit. So that that access to the home with convenience. If you have a sleep disorder 
and you can just press a button on a phone and it's diagnostic and validated, FDA approved, mm. it's a totally different world. And you'll see a lot of people getting access in the future. Great story, David. Preventative medicine, that's important. Yeah, and well, unfortunately we're out of time, but as always, it's a good story and I'm really happy to be here. Great to see you. Thanks, Tom. here, mate. After the break, if you believe the medical fraternity are a bunch of killjoys, maybe your life is about to change. A really good rap for saturated fats 